Hello and welcome to Wings of Liberty campaign. Last time we cleared some creep and uh, we cleared the creep long enough so that spines won't be set up. And then we got all of the secondary objectives. And now we're going to pick up our missile man. What's our general status, Matt? We picked up a distress call from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. The Mobius boys think there's another artifact on a world called Monolith. Supposedly there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Cause they ain't. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding on the ground, waiting? No idea. But you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. So, there's a couple of things wrong with this mission. First of all, for planetary defense experts out there, the best way to prevent your planet from falling is to either protect all the expansions, or even simpler, mine out all the freaking minerals. It's not hard. Like literally, every single world falls because like the player is able to land in whatever they happen to land in, and then like establish a base, and then they do whatever they can to, to beat down the planet. Core Hall fell because of that in Heart of the Swarm campaign. Core Hall fell in uh, Brood War because of that. And now this place is going to fall because of that. So really, we don't need that many SCVs. As for the mission's plan, I'm thinking Missile Man, Missile Man, Missile Man. Now, Missile Man is not good against Bobs and Archons on a lot of Zerg units. I got for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in big bada boom hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the Marauders loose against those Stalkers and you'll see. Where does it hurt? So first of all, I gotta hold off this Stalker garbage. Stalker garbage has been dealt with. Now, I like to choose the Marauder composition because they do have that base one armor. And that base one armor is going to allow them to survive for a long time against things like Zerglings, against things like Bobs. And uh, that's something that Marines can't really do. Also, I'm beginning to think that choosing the Medivac production is a bad idea. Probably choosing the stim pack is better because it allows for better defense with marines inside bunkers It allows for faster shooting of void rays, so you have to produce less marines. That's eh, a lot of things So now that we have that finished Pick this up Go ahead and do that Piss off the good old Bob Oh, there's a bunker. Morning. Incoming Zerg attack wave detected. Where did it happen? Standing by. Well, I took that out. I think I'll start with the engineering bay. The thing with Brutal Mode is that the enemy does out-upgrade you every single time, and even at the beginning, so it's very, very hard to get any upgrades done. Like, you always be working from an upgrade disadvantage. Additional 
This is no time to be getting supply blocked. Oh, there's the rest of the garbage. Let's go ahead and take out the good old stalker first. And then run home. Because Bob's. Actually, you know what? You make a guy with a gun. And you guys piss off the bobs. Bobs have been pissed off. That's good. Make like two more barracks. One good thing about the campaign here is that the uh, the, the Prototh can actually hold off an exceptionally long amount of time. I mean, if you look at this, this is going to fall rather quickly, but the main base can actually defend quite well. Oops. What the shit? I actually lost both medics? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I wouldn't say it's a big problem, but it's definitely a problem. I mean, those medics cost a lot of money. And gas. Although gas is not that important. Depots, though. You need to always be on top of the depots. Over here is seven patches, so we don't need that many skivas. I think now we can start working on this. Come on, Missile Man, don't hit that. You're supposed to be smarter than this. I think six Marines will do against the Void Rays. Maybe another Zerg attack incoming soon. Let's just do the good old wall against Zerg, because that's that's basically what tells Zergs to fuck off. Now, here's the storm guy. Oh, nope, there's the storm. We're gonna need like one guy to attack the storm guy. Come on, guys. Oh, there you go. Kill that off. Get this guy back. Ah, oh, shit. If you die, if you die, you're fired. Did you get rid of the sentries? Okay, so he got rid of the sentries. That's good. Oh no, it's the world's worst failing bus. Why the hell are you fixing the depot? You should be fixing this. Oh boy. Insufficient Vespine gas. Oh boy, my units don't know how to, you know, play properly. That's going to be a problem. Zerg is actually making good progress, which is not something I like. We got our armor done, that's good. The doctor is in. You rang. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Why is the barracks on the hotkey again? Okay, so this is the part where the void ray comes in. You got it. See they got that void ray there. And they're gonna hallucinate other void rays. The only one's going to be the real one. You know how good guys with guns are against against Void Rays, so we got that going on. I don't really need the guys with guns anymore, but they're still good. Now, there is a Protoss Relic here, 
If you want to do this properly, then you'll have to bust through uh, cannons and spines and a bunch of other shit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this up with the command center. And I'm going to get that with an SCV. I feel like that's the best thing you can do. Insufficient Vespine gas. It's about to get heavy. Okay, let's take a look at this here. Archons. Archons are assholes. What are you talking about now? Zerg? We can handle Zerg. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Please get rid of that. Everything that touches dies. So that's still doing well, like I said. I forgot if they have Templars here. Do they have Templars here? I think we should unpower the buildings first. Uh, they have sentries and stalkers. That makes things a little bit easier. They still have a problem there though, so they can rebuild if they so choose. I think I'm just going to wait until the next time the Zerg attacks, and then I will bring the rest of the units over. At that point, the base is kind of pointless. So there's no need to protect the base anymore. The only thing the base is good for is getting the last objective, or the last secondary objective. So first of all, we'll break through the sentries, and then we will load up the guys with guns. We got the sentries are gone, so the force fields are gone. And also the fact that I make Missile Man makes it a little bit easier to pick up the Stone Zealots. Well, there's a Zerg attack. Apparently it's got close to nothing. Oh, Garbalisks. Don't want that skiver there. No, 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 guys. Don't step on that first. We gotta be ready for this. I know I'm taking my time with this. I probably can get this done faster, but this is one of the first missions. And it's basically where the macro doesn't exist. It's kind of unfortunate. This is kind of messed up, actually. I just noticed that. We're running Protoss background music right now. We are running Protoss background music. So first of all, the Missile Man's gonna tank the other two Stone Zealots, Colossi, things, while... Oh, he killed the rest. And then he's gonna back away. And all these Missile Man are gonna take... give absolutely no shits about this Colossus, and it's gonna use walk on them. You can see that was rather effective. I got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. Got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan. So now we have the overpowered Missile Man. Let's talk a little bit about the Missile Man. Well, if there's no cutscene right after now.
That's funny, convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly? If we have to face her again? I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that. There's only one thing to do. I caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting a Zerg and Dominion all at once is gonna take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But I mean, you know, the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. So, these mercenaries are something new to Wings, I guess. And judging by the order, they expect us to pick Agria first. Which I didn't do because, you know, missile man are missile man. Now, I don't actually like these units. They, I mean, yes, at endgame, it's more about supply efficiency as opposed to resource efficiency. And these things are more supply efficient than the standard units. I just don't like spending global credits on them because, first of all, the units themselves start on a cooldown, so you can't use them right away. And their production is, is kind of weird. So I like spending the resources to upgrade the standard units instead. So I'm not going to pick any of these up until very late in the game when I have a giant build up of resource and nothing to spend it on. Now, as I was saying before, th let's talk a little bit about Missile Man. Missile Man in the campaign serve a very different role than the standard game. They still serve that tanking role very well, but the two main difference is number one, the Missile Man cannot use stim packs. And number two, the Missile Man have an AOE slow as opposed to a single target slow, as you can see here in this demo. demo. So putting a missile man in your bunker, say on the siege tank mission, can actually make the mission a lot easier. Like one missile man in, in a bunker is like the standard thing that I put in. One missile man, two guys with guns, and after I get bunker slots, one missile man and four guys with guns. I feel like that just does a lot. You can sort of consider if you put multiple bunkers up, having one bunker with a missile man in it, but I like to put missile man in both the bunkers. Uh, but for now, we're taking Agria next, so potentially a stim pack and combat shields. Medic upgrades are good. Missile man upgrades, I say, not important right now. We're gonna need them for the tank mission, but we don't need them for the early game. Now let's talk about, uh, let's talk to people. First of all, the Marauder. Each time you get a new unit, you get these uh, units and you can 
get a little bit of lore from them, I guess. So you can just read that or pause the video before I skipped out. Are you all right, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Takis. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all could agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. I should really take this down. I guess the crew thinks it's cool or something. Now, another thing we get right now is the arcade, and I am not going to touch this. At the beginning of the campaign, if you noticed, my screen had a 99% achievements completion rate for Wings of Liberty. The one that I don't have is the last one for the arcade, and I do not plan to do that. For anyone doing the arcade, the only advice I can give is mash your spacebar because that will give you a much higher firing rate than if you just hold the spacebar. I don't want to deal with it because it takes like an hour to get, and if you fuck up, they, they disabled the save. Like there was a glitch early on where you can save in the in the arcade, but now you can't do that anymore. So I guess yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. And with that, there is nothing left to do. Mission archives is just you know for for you to do your old missions again. Yeah.